Oh my God. God, get my ass up for this. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Guess who I have? I have a special guest, my friends. Say hello to my little friend. Hey guys. Kristen Dominique, baby. <laughs> she is the owner of Dominique Cosmetics. So the reason why I have her on here is I'm going to do her makeup. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy to be on your channel. First of all, I love you so much. I love you. And I cannot wait for my face to be beat. Just make me look like you. <laughs> no, we're going to make you look like you, baby. No, we're going to look like the best version of ourselves today. Yes. So the reason why I'm going to do this series doing other people's makeup for you guys is because not everyone looks like me. So if your face shape is relevant to this beauty queen over here, then listen up, zoom up. I'm about to school you and take you to church. Aside from that, if your face does not look like her, you can still learn techniques of blending, color tones I'm using, so on and so forth. I'm a strong believer, like when I became elevated in my career is when I realized that not every makeup technique looks good on everyone. You can't apply the same makeup on me as you apply the same makeup on her. And that's when I became Sunset. Ah! There are two things that we need to do before we begin this glam session. Now, I know you guys have been saying I haven't been zooming in, and I'm sorry, I'm new to this <laughs> thing, okay? Like, I'm actually reading the comments. I'm really, really sorry. I don't know how to fully do it yet. I'm learning. I'm a little baby. Just be kind to me. So today, I promise we're gonna get really up close and personal with her face. All you're gonna see is my fingers and her face and you're gonna see how I do it all. Really, 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 mother close. You ready? I'm ready. Hands up. Hello. My, my friends, friends, my little YouTube friends, friends. yay! <laughs> and whoever says they cringe when they watch it, you don't have to f watch my channel. They're dancing with us. Wish them well. <laughs> Wish them well. <laughs> the second thing. Dun, 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 dun. That sound gets me horny. <laughs> we went to Panera Bread earlier and had like a heart to heart <laughs> before we like, came to film mm -hmm. and it was like, we probably spent more time talking than we thought that we would. Yeah, for sure. And she introduced me it. to this drink. It's so good. Green tea from Panera Bread. Everybody needs to try it. This is how I take a shot. Okay, sip. That's what I do, me too. <laughs> take the same amount. Do it, do it. <laughs> okay, we took it. I love this drink. Yeah, as she goes. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Come a little closer. Come on. Let's get into this beautiful face. So first things first, I'm using the Glam Glow Super Toner. So what kind of skin do you have? I have dry skin, very dry skin. Ooh, I'm excited. Bows. That was my no makeup makeup. Sorry. <laughs> so I already put bronzer on her body and we did some Patrick Ta Shima and Pearl where like you see it like glistening. Oh yes. So I'm gonna make sure that her temples are really really clean. Dun 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 Oh my god, god. get my ass up for this. <laughs> This light. I mean, yeah, we do. Guess what we're doing? Do you know what it is? My favorite part. Snatched beer. I've been wanting to try this. I have never tried these tapes. And ever since your video, I've been wanting to try it so bad. If you guys don't know about these, I am going to link the video below. How to use them, where to get them, blah, blah, blah. Click the link below. Take off the little price tag. And she has her hair half up. So we have to lift some of the hair. If I wanted it higher, I would place it like that, right? And then it would like pull it higher this way. Mm -hmm. If you want it longer, you place it this way and you Ooh. get that effect. I think I like the elongated. Same. Place it right there and like let it stick. Don't pull immediately. And then we'll fix her little baby hairs all the way in the end. 
trippy, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so this one's already lifted a lot. Mm-hmm. So we don't want too much lifted. So tell me how tight you like it. Okay. There are notches to this, so we can go this tight. Mm-hmm. We can go this tight. Mm-hmm. Or we can go this tight. I think I like the second one. Same. Voila. Face snatched. I'm actually going to start with her eyebrows. I am going to use the Anastasia. I don't know if you guys have this or if they still sell it. Yeah. That's, I'm that's obsessed with one. this. Yeah. So when I do other people's makeup, I like to make sure that I have insurance. And I like to powder and I like to use the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm gonna use 4.5 from Benefit Cosmetics. So the first thing that I like to do, brush up her brows. For a golden tone, like when I wanna do someone's makeup bronzy, I like to almost hit their eyebrow with a red under undertone because I like to glaze it in the end. And I'm going to just start building at her arch very lightly. And usually when I figure out like how I'm gonna shape somebody's face, then I switch doing sides. Like with me, I'll always begin with this because I just already know what I'm trying to mimic. So with the powder, I'm just going to do the top and the bottom. I'm using Auburn actually, believe it or not. Now on the edge, I'm just gonna go in with 4.5 and really make sure that looks prominent. And you guys, this is not a Crayola, like I'm not going like this. Like sometimes I people pe see people drawing in their eyebrows, they're like pressing so hard. Light strokes. So now when we get to the beginning of the brow, I'm gonna do upward strokes. I'm gonna go into dark brown and literally just kind of make it look like she has hair right there. So I'm concentrating on softening and toning down her arch. Notice how I'm putting a more prominent color on the bottom. So let's say if I put a darker color up top, it would lift her eye. If I put the darker color on the bottom, it'll lower it. The same thing applies for eyeshadow. So usually the first time when I do anyone's makeup, I like really analyze the face on another level because I'm just trying to figure out like what's the best way to make their face look symmetrical. See what a difference that made? Mm -hmm. For the bottom of the cleanup, I always use a lighter color and the top of it, I use a more skin tone color because I'm not trying to raise up your eyebrows anymore or make it look like an Oreo cookie. I'm going to use RCMA. I'm gonna link everything down below, calm your tits. So I'm actually gonna clean up this one first and then I'll mimic it on the other side. I am using a Morphe times Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. And I'm using a light stroke. I'm mixing colors one and two from RCMA to do this. You don't like, I always see people like swipe all across, like do it in sections, it comes out neater. Now we're doing the top of it with RCMA. Wow, they look like the same brown now, what? <laughs> so, on the top part of this, I am just going to use the Tone 3 and Shinto for RCMA. So now I am actually going to use Shinto 3 RCMA on her face. But before I do that, I'm going to use the La Mer Cool Gel Cream. So honestly, this part, I'm so aggressive with how I do it because it's like almost giving my client a lymphatic drainage massage. <laughs> so the reason why I'm using the gel, I don't know why it works better on dry skin. It makes it like more slippery than the cream. You guys see how much like moisture her skin is like holding right now? La Mer has the cream and then they have the gel cream. For dry skin, the gel cream works wonders under makeup. <laughs> Hold on, wait, let me get you in the camera. Hold on, one second. One second! <laughs> you don't need no help. So, let's get down to business. 
I'm grabbing an IT Cosmetics brush. I am dipping into the La Mer gel cream. There is moisturizer, oops, now on her hand too. I am putting it on the back of my hand. I am picking up on the RCMA, putting it back on the back of my hand. And the cool thing about mixing it with the gel La Mer is it makes it more seamless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stipple. It feels really light. Light, right? Feels mm -hmm. like you have nothing on. Yeah. I don't want it to feel heavy, but I like the coverage. I like the color. Like, um, I feel like the color is like what's giving the coverage. Like, I can't explain to you how thin this is. Like, it looks like there's a lot on, but does it not feel like there's like nothing? Yeah, it's so thin. So the reason why I like this brush is like you can like turn it over and you guys are like always tone it down the back of my hand. And notice on the tapes, what I'm doing is I'm just going to stipple that. And then obviously I'm pulling her hair back so I can do the makeup, but we're gonna cover it with the hair. It matches the rest of the body so well. Yeah, it's a really pretty color. We are gonna go into NARS Biscuit and Honey. I'm gonna deposit both of them on the back of my hand. Now the reason why I am using Biscuit is because we are doing a golden bronzy look and I don't need her under eyes to be crazy bright. You know what I'm saying? Now we have both of these colors. Biscuit is closer to the tone of the foundation. We are picking up on Biscuit first. Do you guys see how she has texture right there? This is what I'm going to cover up very, very lightly. See how it's not like too far off from the tone? So remember my rule about letting concealer dry a little bit. So I applied here first, so now I can just pat it in. And now we are gonna go in with honey. Now I'm gonna bring it on the side of her nose, bring it out. Now I'm gonna pick up on a Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush, and I'm going to pick up on my used and abused <laughs> Bobbi Brown palette. You guys can get the foundation sticks, it's the same thing. I'm gonna let that under eye sit for one second. This is what I do, like literally three colors. I can't pick between one. I'm going to blend it into the foundation, and whatever's left of that is what I will lightly blend in. You don't need to make like basically a full drawing to contour, you know? I'm gonna go back into the brush that I used for the concealer and make sure the center pops. And just blending. <laughs> That's how wet I like it. I don't like to use a clean beauty blender directly on the face. So I'm going to pick up some foundation and I'm now going to blend it. And notice how I'm not swiping. Stop doing that. Stop it. So it over here because it keeps creasing. Now we are going to contour her cheekbones. So I introduced you guys to this brush last time. It's like super easy to actually use. It's the Sigma Kabuki 4D HD pyramid brush. What? So smile, look to the side. Um, you see how like her natural shadow is casting here because she has texture there. So what we are going to do is don't ever swipe up, just swiping down. And that way you don't need to waste your time blending 100 hours. We are going to do her chin. Okay, so turn that way. We are gonna hit that and clavicle and bring it down her shoulder. So this brush that I'm using, Sigma Edge Precision P87. I don't know why these like pyramid brushes blend better. So I'm actually going to begin from right here. And because I want your eyebrows to look natural, you see like that straight cut line. Mm -hmm. This contour is gonna help break it apart and make it look believable that those are your real eyebrows. Okay. And we're gonna push it in to your actual brow. It does make it look so much softer. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna bring that in. Makeup Addiction Precision Shader. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the lines super, super prominent. Smile. What a mustache. <laughs> Thanks for the shade, bitch. So I like to always outline the lips because I feel like sometimes 
like lipstick always goes away. And you can contour your lip to look the same. Sometimes some people's lip, one side is bigger than the other one. Right. And I'm just taking that beauty blender that we had. I don't wanna change her eye color like underneath her eye tone too much. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD powder. You wanna like use this very, 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 very carefully. I'm just trying to blend out any creases. So before going in with the HD powder, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Universal powder. I'm gonna dip a damp beauty blender in there. Look up. And the reason why I'm doing this is she has texture. This powder is great because it's like... Mm, softens. Mm-hmm. See? Oh, yeah. Now I'll go in with the Makeup Forever powder. That is way too much that I just put on the brush, like, literally. I'm gonna let that ride for a moment. I am going to pick up on the La Mer powder, their loose powder. I have, like, these little things that I make. And I'm just taking a small Morphe 14 to 13 brush. And the reason why I like this powder, it has a little shimmer in it. And it's like not heavy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick up a little bit on a shadow brush and just right in the center of the forehead just to make it a little shimmery, not so matte. So what I'm going to do with your forehead now, set it with the Laura Mercier you guys, don't worry. I promise I'm gonna tag everything. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Glow. I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Tap, 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 tap. And then you can blend out. I am going to use Makeup Forever, the tone 163 in their pressed powder. I use Z palettes, you know, I depot everything. And then I'm gonna use my Syrah brush, the really expensive one you guys talk shit about. <laughs> very lightly buff it into underneath her contour. Now I'm taking the tone 174 and I'm just going to pack that in instead of a bronzer. So we're just with a regular powder puff beating in the, the coverage. coverage. Remember, if you want more coverage, use a powder puff. So we are taking powder and I'm just setting the sides of her nose. And I'm using that. Now the cheek palette I'm using is a professional palette. It's called Le Maquillage Professional by MAC Pro Paris. They have the sickest colors. So the color I am going to opt for is this one and this one. Um, I wanna make her look peachy and I wanna glaze her a little bit over the peach. And I might even go a little bit with that just to like warm her up because we're going for a more tanned effect. Probably use this as the backdrop. So the thing about professional products, you don't have to go in heavy with them. Smile. Going to use the Morphe M509 brush and I'm tapping it in, swirling it and pulling it. Tap, 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 swirl. So the thing about blush, I actually like using it all over the face. See how much more vibrant mm. it looks? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go in with this color, which is more of a baby doll pink smile. Just going to tap that in. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just picking up on a regular brush close. And with the primer, I'm going to pull down just in this area. I'm not going to go in the top. Why? Because I contoured. I like to begin with the top, like meaning underneath the brow bone. So I'm gonna use Inglot 10 eyeshadow. It's like a gold tone. I'm going to just enhance right there with the shimmer. So now the reason why I put setting powder there is for me not to go crazy with enhancing the inner corner. The setting powder is gonna do it for me, but I'm just going to make sure. So it's almost like connecting it back up there. Look at how much more awake her eye looks. So now we're just going to pull that shade on to the primer. Dun, 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 dun. Pretty. We are going to use Blonde Roast Blonde. as the transition. I love shade. that as the transition. Like a yellow tone on the eyes is always so pretty. Should we take another shot? <laughs> we should take another shot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it's taking so long today. <laughs> oh. <gasps> the makeup gods are gonna come for your life, you mother <laughs> It got 
got in my nose. But how cute do those two colors look together? Looks so good. So tell me about your palette. So with this palette, the whole theme was inspired by the moments I would share with my mother and grandmother over lattes. That was oh like our thing. Oh my god, I love it. So um, that's actually our first palette that we created was latte. Mm -hmm. And so this is the sequel to that. And it's our second birthday as a brand. So I thought it would be perfect. And $2 of the purchase price of this palette goes to St. Jude. I love that. For cancer research to commemorate my grandmother because she just passed. Notice how I'm bringing out the yellow over here. We are moving on from blonde roast. We are gonna go into the strawberry milk. I wow. Know. Keep your eye open. Mm -hmm. I'm using a Morphe M513 brush and I'm just going to warm. So what I just did is I gave it a color block so it matches with the blush. We are going to go into coffee beans. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the MAC. Oh my God, Tiana, I need to get my nails done, bitch. Where the f are you? I'm gonna pick up a little bit on essential oil, a tiny bit, and then go into coffee beans. I'm gonna lift a little bit. Yes, you can use eyeshadow as eyeliner with oil. So once I've made that line with this, I'm gonna go back in with a slant brush without the oil, and I'm just gonna pat it in. So I'm actually gonna blur out that liner a little bit mm -hmm. with kafa, how do you say this? Cafecito. Cafecito. It's a Latina palette. Which is like a little bit more of a burgundy berry tone. And I'm going to just place it right above this line and we are blurring out the shape. So what I just did is like create, like created a color gradient. Now I'm gonna go with a Sigma Exact Blend brush and I'm picking up on the darkest shade of the Makeup Forever powder foundation and I'm blending it in. It gives it a more seamless blend and I'm gonna go in and smear out the cafecito. I don't want it to look so defined. I just want the shape there. I am going to use just any gray tone. Now the reason why I'm using a gray tone is it kind of looks almost flat now. I am going to contour this area, making it stand out more. That connecting it, like raising her eye more and kind of creating a different fold. But we are only just doing it on the edge. And we kind of like diffused that line so it like no longer looks like it's like a cat eye liner situation. We're going back to the bronze. I'm gonna dampen that exact blend brush and I'm gonna go into the Dominique Cosmetics drizzle, only the center. I'm only gonna do downward strokes, anything with specks because you are rolling the reflect. We are going to just put in Stila Bronzed Bell. They're little dingies. And I do it with my finger. Just the center. I just want to make it look wet. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the point of it. what it looks like. So what I like to do is curl the eyes two times. Ready? So I'm going to use the tardiest in brown, dual edged. I'm actually just going to hit. You guys, this really makes a very big difference. Oh yeah, it deepens the look. Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry, I don't know what these lashes are called. Now let's put on the edges. The reason why I like to cut the edges and put it on myself is because I feel like when you don't, it kind of like drags your eye down a little bit. Don't you agree? Yeah. But that's a, like a really cool trick. Just cut the edge and then put the edge separately. Look at you, girl. Transformation. So it's I'm fine. actually just going to add a warmer color underneath her eye. Look up. I just feel like she needs some orange here. So now I'm gonna use the NYX Copper. I am going to make sure that it's really prominent in the center of your eye. Look straight ahead. It just makes the eye glow. It like kind of gives a reflect. It makes the eye color shimmer a little bit. I'm not like fully, fully done yet, but I like to do the lip really fast and then I'm gonna add more blush. So I'm using the Morphe Love Bite and I'm just starting at the Cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna use the MAC Lip Gloss in Young Star. So I like to actually put 
gloss on a brush and only sit pretty on the center. So these pans, you can use them as face products too. So why not, you know? Let's live a little. Oh, a little goes a long way. <laughs> it really does, <laughs> but I like it. That's actually really beautiful, Kristen. What you can also do is I'm gonna take a Makeup Forever wavy brush. She said an oh, and an oh. Like you can use these as an under eye. Brightener. Brightener. So let's just use the Cafe Con Leche. Did I say it right? You did. And I'm only gonna pat it right there. Pull up on the eye and down. Look. Oh. Okay. That really brightens. The powder puff is your best friend. It really is. Oh my God, I love this. I'm obsessed <laughs> with myself right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna tone down her eyebrow by putting some bronze specks in it from Anastasia, color caramel. All right, all right. I'll do one last thing. We'll use drizzle. Ooh. She said face, body, and eyes. Say hello. To latte, to bitch. <laughs> Do you guys like the look? Ignore her tapes, her hair was dirty. <laughs> so we had to just like, you know. Work some magic. Mm -hmm. I love this look. You do? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Do you guys love the look that I created with Latte 2? This is honestly such a beautiful palette. I mean, look at that clavicle, bitch. Do we have to be like super close or something? Say hello to my brand new little friend. Ta-da! All using this bitch. Latte, Latte two. two. From Dominique Cosmetics. So let me know what you guys think about this look. If you like it, you don't like it, it's okay if you don't like it. We don't all have to agree on the same thing. Differences is what makes us beautiful in the world. Thank you so much for watching me do Dominique's makeup with her new palette. I love it and I love the look, except for I wish her hair looked better. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm we did what we could. Thank you guys so much for watching me and Kristen today. Let me know if you guys like the look, if you guys would like me to do more looks with Kristen and her brand Dominique Cosmetics. Keep an eye out for Latte 2, bitch. On that note, I'm out. Bye guys. Peace.